Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Here this week at the Folsom Tackle Show in Atlantic City. Regrettably, this is not a show that's open to the general public. Anglers aren't here, but I'll tell you, it's a great opportunity for me in December to come here. All these manufacturers come from all over the country into one location, and a lot of tackle shops from the tri-state area are buying all their tackle for the rest of this year and 2020. So we'll find out a little bit from those folks about one of those items that might be on your holiday list or some things to look at for 2020. I'm set up right here near the Fish Bites boot. If you haven't used them, of course, here in New Jersey and Delaware, we grew up with those Fish Bite strips. But even in the last couple of years, my friends in New England and New York have been starting to use this Fight Club. And these are the places where we find out about some of these new products. But again, we'll tell you a little bit about that. Right now, the fishing report for this week now we had a little snow on the ground this week. Doesn't stop people from heading out and get, getting it done. We only have about two and a half weeks left on the black sea bass season here in the Northeast, New Jersey and Delaware alike. So the boats that are heading offshore, especially out of New Jersey, are heading a lot deeper. So it's definitely a party boat bite because those are the boats that are making the sail 40 to 60, 60 miles out. But I'll tell you, it's well worth it, especially when you look at a fish like this. This is Jose Bastos. He's in the High Mars Striper Club, but he was out in the Jamaica too over the weekend. 8.12 pounds. State record black sea bass is 9 pounds. This is a monster. Now this boat, the Jamaica 2, they also had some cod, pollock, ling, porgies, winter flounder as well. In fact, that variety is what you find even this time of year. I know farther south of here, down in Cape May County, the starfish, starfish fleet was out this past weekend. In addition to those sea bass, they had a few bluefish. And of course, you look at this one, never know what you're going to stumble on when you put a line in the salt. Same thing going to be said about the fresh as well. Don't always have to push offshore for a surprise. Philly's Paul Gantz was fishing the tidal stretch of the Schuylkill River over the weekend. He was in Center City, 26 inch trout. Look at that, it looks like a sea run brown. I remember when we used to have that sea run brown trout program here in New Jersey. Now, if your boat's still in the slip, or it's on the trail, or you still have that opportunity to get here off of Atlantic and Cape May County especially, where there are still a few stripers just inside the line. In fact, Todd Meredith and Bill Vernons, they had them farther south off Indian River Inlet. Some good stripers caught on mojos over the weekend. The folks at Lewis Harbor Marina, they're here today. I know they said on Sunday that that striper bite down off the Delaware coast had gotten pretty good. So those fish are traveling south and they're inside the line. I know there's still some fish inside the line here in Atlantic and Cape May County as well. In fact, uh, Vince brought this 21 pounder into Sea Isle bait and tackle last Friday. So there are a few fish around for you guys that are getting out, dragging those mojos, the umbrella rigs, those sand deal matches as well. And again, I can only hope that that Ocean and Monmouth County bite that we've had in the surf for so long will start to drift down south of Barnegat, get down into Brigantine, and on down into Cape May County as well. Maybe you folks down on the Delmarva Peninsula can enjoy it as well. I know there's a couple of stripers in and out on the incoming tide at Indian River, but for the most part, in Central and North Jersey, it's all been about the tins and teasers the entire fall. I expect we'll have that action all the way through the winter as well. Now, I know a lot of folks are not catching big fish, but I'll tell you, it ain't over, Johnny. That's the way I can only say it with all these sand eels in the mix. Make sure you're prepared with a couple of peanut bunker matches, the sand eel matches as well, and those teasers as well. Michael Donnelly, he was out this week in those uh, that wind and rain earlier in the week. The folks at Grumpy's Bait and Tackle said he had this 29-incher from out of the pack. And again, I expect that bite to carry over all the way through Christmas, hopefully. In fact, speaking of Christmas, you want to head out to Grumpy's this Saturday and Sunday morning, meet Santa himself. The raising money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Make sure you ask uh, uh, Grumpy Claws here. Send us a few more fish before the holidays. Don't forget as well, this is the best time of year to get on that tog bite. There's some real jumbos out there. Uh, and they're still inshore. I saw uh, Dave and crew from the real seat. Uh, they said Axel Carlson is still where the, some of those big tog are. They're going to be there all the way until the beginning in January. In fact, this past Friday, they had a nice weigh-in 
crew of the Magic Stick, Tom Rostron, Tobias Nelson, Shane Burke, and angler Bruce Stout Jr., 16.4 pound blackfish on a Magic Tail Jig last Friday. Good fish, make sure you get on that. We'll check in with some of the local shops to see what's in store for the new year, but first let's check in with George, the Pocono Outdoors guy. Well, hey, Jim, thanks. You know, the weather has been absolutely crazy the past week. You know, over the weekend, we had those single-digit temperatures uh, back up into the 50s on Tuesday, and now it's back in the 30s, kind of more seasonal where it belongs. But let's jump back to the weekend. Uh, our own Josh Taylor managed to find some safe ice up in those northern po Poconos. Now, keep in mind, guys, this ice is short-lived with that warm-up later in the week. That is certainly not there now, but four inches of ice minimum, and it managed to get Josh out on a couple of nice bass and a few perch, so there's definitely some fish to be had. Now, New Jersey outdoorsman Ken Beam was back out hitting that open water with his kayak and managed to get on a few more really nice bass. Now, back over here towards Pennsylvania, we had Eric Getstall. He's out hitting the local creeks and even the Delaware River for some beautiful trout. Plenty of fish to be had, but guys, remember, the water is cold. Uh, Ken wanted me to mention to you guys, be sure you wear your life jackets and always fish with a buddy because you don't want the worst to happen. This this time of year when we should be out having some fun. But guys, get out and get on them. Plenty of fish to be caught. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Still enough time to shop for that angler on your list until Christmas. Don't forget to pick up the December edition of the Fisherman Magazine. We have that holiday gift guide in there. But I'll tell you, I learn a lot from going to this show because I find out from some of the tackle shops and manufacturers about some of the new stuff headed your way. Check this out and I'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com. So here we got the Saltex 4000 reel. The 6000 has been a great seller. Now they got a smaller size, it's gonna be perfect for tog fishing, perfect for striped bass fishing. Whether you're on the beach or the boat, it's gonna be a great little reel. Looking forward to this 2020 product. Come check them out. Yes, right now the hottest thing out there is the Tsunami Saltex. Uh, launched a 6000 earlier this year in the, in the silver. Uh, introduced to black. Uh, 4000 is uh, gonna be hitting the stores uh, late this December, so get ready. Uh, 4,000 black uh, and, and 6,000 black getting ready to hit stores this month. Also coming later next year, 2020, Saltex titanium pliers, built-in ball openers, uh, titanium coated uh, cobalt cutters, 100% titanium construction, leather sheath, around 130 bucks, can't beat it. Uh, definitely for the spring, for the bluefin run, we're really excited about some of Savage Gear's new jigs. Um, some really, really hot shapes. This past year, anything long and skinny was the ticket for the bluefin run, um, anticipating another great season. Um, and Savage's definitely going to have some really, really cool stuff this year. Um, hot jigs, hot colors. They've got us all set up. Some nice casting jigs, some nice vertical jigs. It's going to be a... It's it's not it's not that new, but the Berkeley Gulp is still my favorite bait. It catches basically everything, and we got early striper season coming up. And my favorite with them is has been the six inch Nemesis and the six and a half inch Nemesis in this in this chartreuse color. Now now they came out last year with a whole lot of new colors, and the flounder fishermen have been going nuts for them. But but they got a couple of these real bright ones. I like to fish the fish the cedar waters up in the Mullica River and this and this orange is going to be really really hot there where you got that dark water and then this blue you got you got blue back herring making a run up the rivers this is going to be a good one you got the blue tint but you got some chartreuse so it really shows up um, I'm really I'm really excited about the year coming up it's it's snowing neat today as we look at this show but we're looking ahead Next year, the store is going to be full, and everything looks great. I hope hope you stop by and see what we got in stock come come March first. Well, for 2020, we're carrying Fisherman's Choice salmon strips. It's a large strip bait, very tough. It has a silvery white iridescent skin, and then the orange salmon belly meat on one side, and it's soaked in finescent shrimp oil for added attraction. Really great for trophy fluke when you use, when you need a big strip bait. And uh, the tilefish, codfish, deep drop guys are, are really doing well with it. So that's new, we're very excited about it. 
And then the, all the finessence oils, everyone knows about our shredder crab oil, but we also do carry shrimp, bunker, clam, and for fresh order guys, crawfish oil. So what you do is you soak your plastics, a couple drops in your bag, it permeates the plastic and then slowly releases as you fish. So that's what's coming up for 2020. The reel that gets the job done, super price point, BG series, stripers, inshore, tog, everything, saltish, wonderful reel, mag sealed. These two number one reels in Fairfield Fishing Tackle. Pair that up with a little J braid. We'll spin it on there for you. Have a great season. New for 2020 will be Tog Treats under the Tsunami brand in a series of weights that will cover any of the depths and any of the size baits you're going to be needing to, to get those big tog. We're also introducing a series of Fluke Mania jigs with a, a very bushy Mylar dressing on them. They're set up with a round bend hook to take a decent sized piece of bait or gulp and they all have a keeper barb on them to hold the bait in place. Also new for next year will be a series of ball head jigs, again, with a bait keeper barb on them and a, a, a wedge to hold the bait in place without splitting the plastics that you might be putting on here. And the fork tail candy, which is a Bonita false albacore Spanish mackerel jig that can be used uh, from Boater Beach. They're set up with an inline single hook rigged in the package and they come with a treble hook so you can make your own decisions. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lawrence Grand Prize Boat Package and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.